today let's talk about this ubiquity unify protect flood light this is the box like other ubiquity product the packaging is always very impressive even for this simple led light let's see what's inside inside the box you have the led itself then in fact it comes with two mounting brackets or plates if you will this one is the wall mount it's a flat one there's also another angled plate i already installed it outside so you don't see it here it's basically the similar size but just has a angle and this is a simple plastic so you can use it as a diffusion cover a plastic transparent cover can be removed then you can push this on right just if you like this soft uh, diffusion light and this is very simple content but let me talk about why i even purchased this uh, you may already know the price tag is a little bit high it's 99 dollar think about it it's simply a led light with poe power right why so expensive uh, let's talk about it before we discuss the pro and the cons of this particular led light let me show you something on the table you see three totally different LED lights. The left side one, the pile of stuff. This is a very common LED light, security light you can buy in big box store. You have the LED light itself plus a sensor. See the size of the sensor is already like a surveillance camera. Then normally it's power, uh, sorry about, it's very dirty because I just removed it uh, from the roof. So I don't want to use it anymore. In the back, usually you see three AA batteries, normally rechar rechargeable, powered by what? Of course, by the uh, rechargeable battery, but the battery can be recharged, normally using a solar panel. Basically, you can live with outside forever. For example, this one, it's already been running for years no issues at all but for apparent reason i don't like it because of the size it's so clumsy the way it, it charge it need this big solar panel and normally you have to install it on the roof i don't like the look of course it's not smart which means for whatever adjustment or setting change you want you have to climb up using your ladder and then switch several settings somewhere let me try to find a setting okay here uh, there are some maybe light duration setting sensitive setting uh, setting like that and you have simply on and off switch here but it's not smart you have no way to control it using your existing network so normally the price for this type of thing is about 40 dollars it's very affordable it lasts a long time for this smaller pile allo security light first you have a hub the hub communicate with your lights using wi-fi and this is more modern device at least it can communicate using wi-fi and this is the light itself you have the mounting stuff here and that looks like a surveillance camera and the size is like a surveillance camera and it's powered using battery it's not poe that's the number one thing i dislike because basically you need to recharge your battery every one month or two months and it's very tedious because usually you have multiple uh, light so which means every week or every two week you you will be bothered by your phone app and reminding you okay you need to recharge this and then again because normally you mount it very high you have to use ladder and climb up um, remove the battery recharge it and climb up again the next day and uh, install it the way it get power is the number one reason why i uh, don't like it and here this is the ubiquity one just by comparing the size you can see the huge advantage for the poe powered led light clean simple and looks very good it's not like this you, you have your 
weekly drop to recharge it. This is about just by uh, comparing the look or the size, you already see the huge difference. Let's talk about this uh, other one uh, one more time. Talk about the price. So if you buy from Amazon for the three lights plus a hub, you may need to pay more than $200. It's not really much cheaper than Ubiquiti One, but you get a much better setup by using the PoE powered one. That's about the price. This other one is not cheap at all. Another thing I have to complain about the other ones is the build quality. I have been struggling with the Ubiquiti purchase because I had three other lights. They only lasted for about two years and after they were out of warranty, they stopped working one by one. And now all the three batteries are still good, but the sensor on the light stopped working. So basically that make them useless already. Initially when I bought the Allo lights, I thought, okay, maybe the battery will go bad after one or two years, at least I can replace the battery, right? But I n never thought the device, the light itself went bad even before the battery. So the build quality is not very good. I don't like the build quality and I don't like the price and I don't like the way it's powered. As the title of this video suggests, uh, one of the focus of this video is whether the $99 price tag for the Ubiquiti one, whether it's worth it. That's why initially I struggled a lot. Uh, I uh, hesitated buy this one, but after I purchased two, I used it for several weeks. I liked it very much, so I purchased another two. So now I have four Ubiquiti Protect uh, floodlights. I know the 99 price tag is high and I wish it can be 50 or 60 at most. Yeah, but uh, because I really cannot find a better uh, replacement. So that's why I ended up with the Ubiquiti Protect $99 light. In the left, you see the unified user interface when you use your computer. And on the right side is the mobile app user interface. It has a very interesting demonstration about the uh, motion detection area. So that's why I also put it there on the screen. Here you can manually switch on or off. Here you can control the brightness. The most important setting is here. You either use the built-in motion detection or you, use, you pair it with a unified camera which is what I am using. The reason I want to do this is normally as long as the camera detect uh, some motion, I want the light to be on. Uh, otherwise, if I let the light detect by itself and then the camera doesn't capture the video, it's kind of useless to me. So that's why I choose to pair it. That's the most important uh, setting to me. If you go to setting, basically, uh, similar information the only thing different is here so you can choose whether it's uh, whether when dark always on or only on motion you can also choose whether the setting is always effective or only when it's dark you want the setting to be effective for example during daytime no matter what happened you don't want light to be on then you choose the when dark setting right and here of course you can choose the auto shut off timer uh, nothing special let's go outside let's see how it uh, behave during night this is the front porch. The left side arrow point to the light. The right side arrow point to the camera. Now the camera detects an action. The light is on. As you can see, it's very bright. On paper, it's about 500 lumens, but in real world testing, it's good enough for my usage. This is the outside of the garage. The left side point to the camera. Right side is the light. As you can see, camera is pretty far away from the light, but the light can cover the whole area which I want the camera to take video.
Thanks for watching the short video. As a summary, I don't have any complaints about the quality, about the feature. The only thing I can complain is the price. $99 is really too high for a LED light. If Ubiquiti can lower it to 60 or even 70, this will be a wonderful PoE powered LED light.